the key things I'd encourage new HR practitioners to focus on is the field of industrial relations. It's a continuing growing and developing area as the various different uh, political parties come into play. It's also an area that we find very difficult to recruit for. The other key area I'd encourage people to focus on is change management and organisational development. Uh, every organisation that I've come across of late is constantly changing um, and for an HR practitioner to be able to have uh, organisational change skills in their toolkit to be able to pull out and support along with their functional, um, along with their functional um, abilities uh, will en enable them to go far and to go quickly. Understanding the financial drivers of a business, understanding how to you know, look at a balance sheet, look at a P&L, and for me, that first and foremost is, is a critical component. The other one is around empathy for people. You absolutely have to be passionate about people in your business. So if you're too finance orientated and it's all numbers, then you lose that aspect of empathy. And I think empathy is a really, really um, key skill. The other final one for me is problem solving. And, and that's the ability to be able to let go of your bias and your view that this solution that you might have delivered in the past will be the answer for your current problem. And so individuals that have that ability to be able to work through a problem, and it doesn't matter if the answer is right or wrong, but I think to be able to see it for what it really is rather than what they think it should be uh, is a critical component for people. In, in terms of skills that an HR professional needs, you've got to be able to do the basics. Those are sort of the table stakes. If you don't get those right, um, you've really got no, uh, no entry into the party. So when I mean the basic skills, it's, it's things like the general advice around performance, uh, it's the IR advice, uh, and more generalist uh, advice to leaders. Once you've got that under your belt, I think then that gives you the credibility to move on to talk about uh, the things that we all like to talk about in HR, uh, things like talent and succession, uh, being able to coach uh, both leaders and line managers. So those are the more advanced skills, but you can only play in that space if you have the basics right. <laughs>